Thank you for coming. Thank you for letting us have fun here, playing our instruments. So anybody know the name, of, uh, the composer of that tune? No? It's the same composer of the name of this club. Monk. <laughs> <laughs> so it was clever, right? You see what I did there? So I want to open up with, you know. Thank you're welcome, you're welcome, Collins. New, new standard for, for now on, every, every band that coming in have to play a tune for Monk. First tune, you hear it? You hear it? Requirement. Anyway, I appreciate it. Thank you for coming tonight. Uh, thank you for uh, bringing yourself to this place. Uh, I'm going to present you a, a Tommy Howard in the guitar. Woo. Woo. Gerardo Espinosa and the saxophone. Jerry Gibbs on the drums. And I'm substituting Juan Acosta. He said he can, he can make it, so I'm kidding. My name is Juan Acosta. Thank you for coming. Um, that, like I said, that was a, that was a tune for Telling This Monk, uh, Straight No Chaser. Now, um, next, next tune that we're going to play for you guys is a tune. Uh, it's called Copycat. So I grew up in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Yay! Somebody. Boricua, pa' que tu lo sepa. Anyway, oh, for, for everybody from home, I know they're watching. Mami, bendición, I love you. Te amo. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Jesus. Anyway, Copycat um, is a compo uh, the, the composer of this next one that we're going to play. He was basically my mentor when I started in, in, in music. I mean, he took risk that I will not take with somebody else right now. I know uh, stuff like uh, I only learned to play the upright bass. I think it was three months out, and he already gave me. I was playing with him gigs and playing all this stuff. Yeah, very unique person. So in 2004, he did this. Uh, he did a recording. It's called Dan Dance Jazz. Back in 2004, uh, there's a there's a, gen a genre in Puerto Rico of music of folk music. It's called danza. So he make a jazz version of that folk music, but in in all that stuff he make a in, he make this tune called Copycat, and he co uh, it's called Copycat because uh, he was a fan of Chic Korea, so he took the the tune Humpty Dumpty, and he copycat. He did something. He put it upside down. I think he put the upside down the tune, and then he played it and he composed this one. Uh, don't quote me in that. I don't know how that happened. But he did something. But the thing is, uh, back in 2004, when I was just in college, he gave me the opportunity to play. And everything that I knew, everything that I knew about jazz when I went to New York in 2006, is it was because of him. And I really appreciate it for you watching, Angel. I, I love you a lot. Thank you for everything you have done. So no further ado, we're going to play this soon for you. It's called Copycat. Humpty Dumpty backwards. Humpty
My funny Valentine. I was trying to justify this tune because we are not in Valentine. So I find out that it's not about Valentine's. There was a series back in uh, 19, I think it was 1937. The show was called Babes in Arms. And this tune is, was, it was about the main, one of the main actors and uh, the character is called Val Lamar. So he's talking about this character, that he got this funny stuff, you know, he looks funny, something like this, you know. <laughs> yeah, something like that. You know, he looks funny, but anyway, you don't want that person to change anything. You just want that person to be who it is and love that person the way that, the way that it is. So sometimes society makes us to look like a somebody else. Well, we should look like you are. Anyway. Did you just make that up? No, man. <laughs> Something else. You know that this tune was recorded in 1,300, that's cool, that's, that's, uh, 1,300 albums by 600 artists record this tune. And it's the same artist did it twice. Yeah, probably. Right, that's right. Yeah, if you, yeah that's, that's what I thought. I was yeah. like, that, that, in 1935, how many times you have to record that anyway? That's so uh, this next tune is was my original composition. Um, funny story about this tune. I was in church. <laughs> I was in a in a I was in a service, and I got this melody in my head. The preacher is talking, the worship is going on, and I just got this melody in my head. I couldn't focus. I couldn't concentrate. So, you know, usually after after uh, at the service we take the kids and go to eat. And I'd immediately have to sit down in the piano and get this melody out of my head and put it in, the, in paper. The funny thing is, like, one person told me about it. I told him, say, man, I don't know. This just came up. I didn't look for it. I didn't search for it. They just came. So sometimes music 
uh, show, you, uh, show you inst uh, and, and look for you instead of the opposite way. And it was a funny, it's, it's funny how this is coming up. So I titled, I titled, I titled this tune, Jay's Blues. So please, in you better enjoy. We're in church now. You did this in uh, church instead of I went, I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say that in, in here. Going straight down, buddy. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I hope you feel God in that one. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Sorry, I will pray this night for forgiveness. Anyway. So um, I moved to New York City back in 2006. Um, if you talk about somebody with a lot of fears and a lot of complaints, it's this person here. So get into right? I know. You identify. We identify. We can make a club together. <laughs> anyway, uh, so just imagine living in a small town. Wow, well, you imagine. You, a lot of people probably here from a small town. But imagine that your town is my country, <laughs> right? So Puerto Rico is 100 miles for 35 miles, probably 3 million. There's more Puerto Ricans in New York than in the island. <laughs> Let me tell you that thing. So <laughs> 2006, I moved to New York City. And it was like a, so we got oceans in Puerto Rico, but it was like a, like a swimming in a pool, and then somebody throw you in the middle of the ocean. It was terrifying. Um, I remember that I create a very bad habit of practicing way too much just to try to make it. But uh, meanwhile, I went to NYU, and this was, one of this, this tune, it was presented to me, and I never hear it before in my life. So a lot of people, a, a lot of people have been blessed. A lot of musicians in the States are blessed with the college, with the, the uh, uh, even high school level, or even, uh, even before that, they are very exposed to this music. Over there, I wasn't exposed too much, just the, just the norm in the island. So when I go to New York and I would get exposed to uh, tunes like the next one that we're gonna play, I, uh, you know, it, it was like a fireworks in my head. It was incredible. Uh, yes, I went to New York in 2006. If you remember what happened in 2008, yeah, the crash of the, of the, uh, of the house market. So we went back to Puerto Rico. Yeah. You feel 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 defeated mm -hmm. any any time in your life. I feel the, I, it was that was my de that was my defeat. Even that we have a brand new baby, and we went back to home with family, but you are defeated. You didn't make it, basically. So at that point, I wasn't playing anymore. And a friend of mine came to me and asked me asked me if I want a job. I was like, of course. I'm making a thousand dollar a month. What do you think? I was like, we want to join the army. I was like, uh, Really? It's like, a, yeah, I said, ah, I'm just going to try. Just going to try. And the try is I I'm, I'm, have done 12 years in the, in the armed service right now. I'm in the Army Band. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. It's been 12 years. Uh, let's leave it like that. I don't know what's going to happen next. Don't worry about love. We're going to figure it out. Anyway. But uh, San, uh, this next tune is called Sandino. Uh, its composer is Charlie Hayden. Uh, and this, like I say, this tune impacted my life when I was in New York. It was one of those tunes that marks land. It's like a landmark. And this one of them. So when he passed away in two, 2008, I think, yeah, he passed away. No, 2014. I think he passed away, right? Yeah. How about that? So uh, yeah, 2014, because I was in Germany. So I took this tune and I can make an arrangement of this tune uh, just dedicated for him. So this is for Shiley Hayden and this is for all of you that feel uh, one time in your life you feel defeated, one time in your life you think, oh, I'm not gonna make it, don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. You know what? Life, my dad always told me this, uh, good and bad things always come, come and pass. Just hold tight and wait, right? When you got good times, enjoy it. When you have bad times, just breathe and go through it. It's going to go away. So this is Sandino. Please enjoy. Is this the tune he went to jail over? Yeah. <laughs> no, he did, right? <laughs> right? No, he went to jail after he played this tune. <laughs> right, right? That's another story. <laughs> not, not him. <laughs> was Charlie Hayden. Charlie Hayden. It was a oh, Paul oh, 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 I'm sorry. Oh. I told you to talk about me. No. Yeah, yeah. He went to jail after this. Yeah, you can you. Yeah, he went to jail, right, because of uh, political... for robbing liquor stores. He went to jail for this tune. Oh, uh, okay, got it. Ah, but we got something similar. Okay, let's go. <laughs>
Hey, feel encouraged, please. <laughs> right? So uh, this is the part. Of the, this is the part where well, lights are dim, and that's cool. Um, yeah. So this next tune, I have to. If no, probably gonna sleep outside. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna dedicate this next ballad to my wife. Whoa! I composed this probably back when we were recently married. It's been. Over, uh, let's say this sounds very cool. Over 15 years of marriage. You see that? No, I know my wife since 1999. We've been together since dating all the way to marriage today. And it's been awesome. She's been there all this time. She went to New York to, with me, went back, is in the army uh, with me. It's been taking care of our kids. Uh, she even paused her career just to take care of the kids. I mean, that's, that's way brave that what I do that is playing the bass. Anyway, mi amor, this tune is for you. It's title in Spanish, Con Tanto Amor. Somebody translate it. Hey, buddy. What? You forgot to mention the black jeans and the, uh, and the plantains that I like. Oh, the plantains, okay. She this is with, black with like Con Tanto Amor. Let's go. That's important too.
Thank you, thank you. That was nice. <laughs> so once upon a time, I moved to San Antonio two years ago. Two years, two years already? Two years ago, wow. Wow, two years, 10. Time passed very fast. So two years ago, I came to San Antonio and I don't know, I frustrated with the music and whatever, so I I meet some musicians around and I would I'll tell them, say, I wanna try to play a little bit again. I was like, oh man, you know, go to this uh, group in Facebook and you know, just say hello, whatever. So I post a, a video, say, hey, I'm in town, just in case you need a bass player. Just in case, you know, you never know. Uh, anyway, a couple days later, later literally a couple days later, uh, Joshua Aldarete, Al 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 Joshua Aldarete is a drummer. He was in San Antonio. Now he lives here in, in Austin. He called me and said, hey, man, it's nice to meet you. Whatever, blah, blah, I'll let you know if there's something. Next day, he called me, hey, there's a gig for today. I was like, oh. <laughs> And by the way, it's with uh, Gerardo Espinosa and Gary Gibbs. I'm sorry. Yes, you're going to tell me that I'm an ignorant. Remember, I don't know too much about music. Jerry, Jerry Gibbs. Sorry, sorry, Gary. Jerry Gibbs. So uh, he told me, say, hey, he's been playing with Chick Corea, uh, uh, Christian McBride, I mean, name it. Uh, so he put me in, a, in the edge, right? And this is a gig back over there in San Antonio in a place called On the Bend. It's a hazard to get there the first time. You get lost, you get nervous, whatever. So it was a trio. We just meet together. So we just, I don't know, I just setting my stuff up and whatever. So the story that I didn't know that they always tell is like a, between them, they were like, a, what about these bass players? Like, oh, I don't know. It's going to be a disaster tonight. Forget it. So the thing is, these guys decide to play the, mo the fastest tune first. It was, yeah, it was a rhythm changes. And, uh, I think it was Olio, if I don't mistake it. Anyway, it was blistery fast. So remember, I wasn't playing too much. And right now, I'm playing with, with Grammy nominee drummer. And one of the best saxophonists in, 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 in locally. So I'm playing with these two cats. And as soon as we take off, I was like, oh, God. So the only thing I remember is I was breathing. This was, you know. Those ones that like to work out, you know, when you're in a workout, you're going to think you're going to pass out. So you start breathing <laughs> calmly. <sighs> so, you know, you just let your fingers go. And anyway, from that, I think eight bars pass or 16 bars pass. And I'm locking with, 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 with Jerry like I never locked before with a drummer. Like a phrases we end the phrases together he always he always told about like a, it's like a this floating together on on time with rhythm i mean that was amazing so that's how we made these guys Thanks. yeah i appreciate it so i'm very honored and glad to have these two gentlemen in my life it's been amazing now let's talk about this other guy <laughs> the tommy so the only reason we call this group, well, Jerry called this group the Relentless Maniacs, is because the band on San Antonio, it have a Saturdays is double, double set. Well, hey. two four hour shows. Two four hour shows, right? <laughs> Wait a minute, hear, hear me out, hear me out. <laughs> so, yeah, we always do one of them, but this time, I think we were getting ready for, for a performance and. Uh, uh, the the guy run it. I got called in the morning. You got called in the morning, in the morning right? Me. Can you please try and make? <laughs> can you please try and and help? And I tried everybody in town. Nobody can make the four to eight o'clock slot. Could you just help me this one time? I swear I'll make it up to you. <laughs> so I called the three of them since we were already playing that night, and they all and, show up. And we and we have this maniac coming up as a quartet with us. So we play from four to eight, and from Nine to one. <laughs> and remember, this guy likes to play everything fast. It's like a one, two, one, two, three, chicken, 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 chicken. So it's all the, you know, we, we talk about it. We say, oh, let's take it, let's take it slow. No, it was everything was here. So anyway, 
One o'clock came in, well, before five, five to one coming in and say, what are we going to play? So let's play one more tune. And we have this uh, open free jazz tune. It's called uh, Sightseeing. I think it was 1.45 when we, when we finished it. <laughs> played nine hours and then played 45 minutes so, over <laughs> so that's the reason we, this next tune is a written changes. And this written changes is being composed by his dad, Terry Gibbs, one of the pillars in bebop era. You know, he's right now 90, 98. They, they went through a hardship. Uh, they lost a membership. And I, I want to give my best vibes to them uh, and to my friend here. Like, a, you know, whatever you need, we are here for you. But for now, we're going to play this tune. It's called 4 AM. I don't know how fast we're going to play it because I have to play the melody. So, chill. Thank you. 
for coming. That was our last tune. It's time to go. Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. Enjoy your night. And uh, don't forget, thank you, Collins. Thank you, everybody. Uh, don't forget, there's jazz every day here. So check it out. Have a good day. They say they don't care. We got one more tune. This is for you. This is up. I need to change bases. Oops. Thank you.
That's how we play entire day. So thank you, everybody. Thank you very much for coming. I appreciate it. You've been great. Just give a high five to yourself. You've been a great audience. Thank you for coming. Have a great night. <laughs>